Okay, so we're going to learn about por and para. Now, both of these can mean for in English, and they can also mean a, a bunch of other prepositions and, and words um, that don't necessarily translate to the word for. Um, and there, there are a lot of rules for them. Uh, so we're going to go through some of the rules. Now, for some learning styles, you'll want to memorize the rules. For others, you'll just see a bunch of examples, and you'll start to, to become more comfortable with using both of these words. Um, it, it's really up to you. Uh, so, the first of all, we're going to go through some of the uses of por. So, one of the, the uses is to express in exchange for or on behalf of. So, te daré cinco dólares por tu reloj. Since I will give five dollars um, to you for your watch. So, it's I'm exchanging dollars for your watch, so that's in exchange for. Te cambio mi carro por el tuyo. I'll, I'll change my car or exchange for yours. Gracias por dejarme quedarme en tu casa. So here, um, always after gracias or anything that, that expresses thanks, uh, you, you would use por. So you, even if it's I thank you for, te agradezco por, uh, all of those would always be por. Um, Yo voté por Obama. Again, since there's a kind of representation going on here where Obama um, represents me, if I vote for him, I would vote for Obama would be por. Yo estoy trabajando por Carlos porque está enfermo. So I'm working on behalf of Carlos, for Carlos, because he's sick. A few more uses of por are to express math, proportions, and time. So, a few examples. Cinco multiplicado por cinco son veinticinco. So, five times. You could, you could also just say por instead of multiplicado por either one. Um, cinco son veinticinco. Five times five are twenty-five. Ten. Uh, diez dividido por dos. Es igual a cinco. So, ten divided by two equals five. So, again, dividido por is divided by. Saqué setenta y cinco por ciento en mi examen. So, I got seventy-five of one hundred. So, um, por ciento is, is also how they say um, percentage, but it's of one hundred is where that literally comes from. So... If, if I would have gotten 8 out of 10, I could say, saque 8 por 10. Um, same thing. Tengo clases dos días por semana. So this is this is an expression of uh, kind of the, the denominator again. So it still kind of fits into this math. So out of one week, tengo clases dos días. So I'm, I have two days of classes in one week. ¿Dónde vas a estar por la noche? Where are you going to be um, during the night? Okay, these are some more uses for the word por. It can mean through, along, via, or by. Here are some examples. Vivo por el río Lindo. I live by the río Lindo, river um, Lindo. Pasé por el campo para llegar aquí. I went through the field to get here. So, pase por el campo. Um, and then, to, to tell which of all these words it would mean in English, you, you just use context. So, pase por would mean through, whereas vivo por would be I live near, I live by. Mi hermana corre por el parque cada día. My sister runs through the park every day. Prefiero viajar por tren que avión. I prefer to travel by train or via train um, instead of plane. Tu hermano te habla por teléfono. Your brother talks to you via the phone, telephone. El libro fue escrito por Javier Gómez. The book was written by Javier Gómez. 